Give it up, everybody, for Freddie Quinn, our MC. Yeah. I'm gonna move this. Make Stanley Casey's can't see me behind it. <laughs> Is that so fucking skinny you're the other flipper put? <laughs> I only started doing stand-up comedy because of my have kids and I just wanted to get the fuck out of the <laughs> If the phone goes off when I'm on stage, please be as square as you were during Freddy's set there. <laughs> I mean, thinks I'm out getting bread and milk. <laughs> I'm already 18 years and have four kids. I'll let you know I've had sex four times. <laughs> Even the wee dark fellas, man. <laughs> you know what you start laughing about? She told me that's because she was doing the sunbeds when I was in prison. <laughs> But it's good, it's good to come over to, 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 to England. England, isn't it right? <laughs> Can I say that over here? <laughs> Liverpool's a bit strange, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> Here's a cheer if you're English. Yay! Look, there's one away five minutes. I'd wait five minutes to be out there. I don't care. Well, I come from weed places, you know, a lot, you had a lot to do with it. It's called Belfast. Yay! Few people remember being there. <laughs> Yeah, everybody used to think I was really minted because the apartment block I lived in had a helicopter pot. <laughs> Wasn't ours. <laughs> Them one day, you know. It's good. When you come over and do gigs over here, like, you, you meet people, you know, like, I was in Scotland, and people heard, like, Irish comedians, so they all came to the show thinking I was one of them, you know. How are you? Welcome in, I'm going to do a dance for you. <laughs> <laughs> Turned up on my show, and I was like, fuck up, right, you can't get there. <laughs> And the Scottish people would come up to you and they would say to me things like, you know, they go, Paddy, you from Belfast? And they go, oh, and they go, there's an awful lot of sectarianism in your country. <laughs> I'm sorry to fucking tell Scottish people, but there's far more in Scotland than there <laughs> fuck it is. But the only difference is, up there they call it a bit of panther. <laughs> Could you imagine if we used that during the troubles in Belfast? <laughs> The guy comes on the news and he goes, Two people were shot dead today in Belfast. The IRAs released a statement to say it was only a wee bit of banter. <laughs> <laughs> Just fucking make me. <laughs> and then I, I do I do a podcast back home with a wee spastic called uh, William <laughs> Patrick. <laughs> he is a spastic, he's got cerebral palsy, I'm allowed to say that. <laughs> Listen, he's a wee fucker. Do you know what happened? We 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 done a tattoo next episode, and he, he put this in my fucking leg, and he's a fucking cunt. We just even go. Not only is he a wee Protestant, he's a fucking spastic. <laughs> 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 Yeah, beef it two weeks after I got that done. I was walking about in shorts, fucking that money on the car park. park, park. <laughs> we bastard, but no, we were talking about it and we were laughing like the people, you know, because he's a prowess and I get a grant for him. Um, <laughs> but we started talking like, you know, that people just think back home it's just the Protestants against the Catholics and it's not really the way it is. And then I explained to him, and he's like, I have an uncle from Glasgow that's not really my uncle. Like, my dad met him in an Irish bar in fucking Salou in fucking 1985. <laughs> the two of them were just wearing Celtic tops and stuck together. Like, <laughs> my dad's like, that's your Uncle Harry now. And I was like, that ain't only five, why is Uncle Harry in my bed? <laughs> But Uncle Harry used to come over here every year to our house, and I was saying to Willie, and Willie went, that's really strange because I had an uncle, Billy, from Glasgow as well, who wasn't my uncle, and I was like, fuck off. He's like, no, my dad and Adam in Panadorm in 1985. <laughs> Two of them were wearing fucking Rangers hats and the bikini best friend. <laughs> and Uncle Billy's my Uncle Billy, and he comes over to my house every year, and I'm like, Uncle Harry comes over every year. I was like, we're so fucking alike. We are so in common, it's unreal. I said, does your uncle come at Easter? And he went, no. <laughs> and I found out then that the difference is, my uncle came at like Easter, and he was a season ticket holder at Celtic Park, whereas Willie's uncle, he comes in July and he's a cunt. 
<laughs> Two fiends in the head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's all cool. It was it was mad because we're talking about being married. Like I was, I remember we were at the stage of married. Is there who's, who's married? Anybody married here? Nobody's married. That's why he's all. You're saying you're you're sitting like with a big smile on your face, going, "Yeah, but she's in the fucking house <laughs> with the fucking kids here." Is <laughs> it in work? She works nights, don't she? Just keep her away from something. <laughs> is she a fucking? Is she? Is she the nurse? Nurse, same thing, isn't it? <laughs> It's, it's not really like, see in your head, when I was growing up, I always had this thing where people like, you no, know, like somebody would say, oh, such and such is mad as a nurse, and in my head, I was going. Because <laughs> we always have this thing when you were a kid, like, we didn't have porn in our phones, we did fame, dirty magazines and pages. And fucking, they were already stuck together, and you were still looking at them in there. <laughs> Kids now, nah, my son could put into it, I want to see a midget coming out of Stephen Hawking's hole. You <laughs> can see it, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, not a statement, but a nurse like a nurse's uniform. Mm. But when you really think about it, she probably wears a fucking big, fucking smelly green, over fucking sized suit. <laughs> and a pair of fucking craps, like what's that? Do you know what I mean? What, what do you get her to dress up as? Have you got a fetish with her or what's a crack? <laughs> Happily pregnant, right? So she would be pregnant. What did you get? <laughs> like I knew they could get pregnant without the being because I have a dark head. <laughs> How many kids have you got? No, one on the way. Oh, so you don't? You, just hope it comes out. You just hope. <laughs> just hope. Because I'm the other three. You know, like if I meet people in the supermarket and they go, I go, no, 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 that's just my, that's my uncle Harry from Glasgow's being. <laughs> You know, have the three and anything. But do you get her to dress up? No. As a mechanic. What? <laughs> do you get her to dress up as a mechanic? <laughs> well, I've just had a look at you. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I've replaced all the filters in it, <laughs> but I have to get really far into it. Come to gearbox. Do you make her, do you call her Frank when you're doing it? <laughs> Frank, I'm setting it up, you fucking fix it, man. Weirdo. Everybody's got their thing. I, 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 I was a five a day, like, I'll tell you the crack, like, during COVID, we were married 14 years, and we were at the stage of marriage where it was just cheaper to stay together. <laughs> We didn't want to sell the house and we didn't want to get the kids every other weekend to each other, do you know what I mean? So we went to stay together and we would, you would go to sleep and forget they're there and then you wake up in the morning and she's there again and she would just start me and I would just start her. And we sort of started to growl and circle the day. And I would never go down the stairs in front of her in case she kicked me down. <laughs> And I know she was thinking about it because I was fucking thinking about doing it. <laughs> but COVID kicked in and we sort of kindled the relationship. Not through love or romance. More through fucking hatred for them four wee bastards that live with. <laughs> you know, like we, we rekindled it and it, like we didn't smoke before COVID, but we started smoking so we could go out the back and talk about them. <laughs> People were, were out on a Thursday night popping the NHS. I was out popping for primary school teachers. Because <laughs> now I spent time with my kids. They fucking deserve the money. <laughs> and I couldn't have a shake. I couldn't have a shake in the house during COVID without one of them walking in, laptop or iPad, and going, Daddy, we're playing a big game of bingo here with seven million people around the world. Do you want to join in? <laughs> like, get the fuck out of my way. <laughs> what do you want, guys? You work in the almond service, and your wife's a nurse. It's all becoming very clear now, isn't it? <laughs> See when you're a rainer, do you go? He's <laughs> 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 like, <"Will> stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Just hold on, I'm going to go around the corner. <laughs> But I, I worked on building sites, and I, I was a, 
I was a five a day man. You know what I mean? Before COVID, do you know what I mean? Five a day. Yeah. I'm not talking fruit and veg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's why I came to you because I'm not saying you're a wanker, right? <laughs> I'm not saying that. I'm saying I, I'm not a wanker, you know, but I would have had five a day, like minimum. <laughs> you ever have a wanker in almonds? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> There must be something from work in this. You fucking hell. No. I think I was a five a day match. I was wanking everywhere. We caught someone being done over the table in the mess room. Oh. We caught somebody being done over the, the table in the mess room. That's why it's called the mess room. You want to mess around? Go to the mess room. And was it good? Was it a good? No. No. Oh, I'm pretty sad. No. What were they called? <laughs> I just want to know, I just want to know. <laughs> and she wore a crack myself. <laughs> but I, I would come home from the building and say, all dirty, right? And because we had so many kids, like people back home go to me, Paddy, why do you have so many kids? And I go, I'm like the British Army, I don't like to pull out. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's the best bit. Like being a Catholic and fucking having sex, we don't use condoms, so like, you know, like, well, like she used to go, just pull out, and I'm like, fuck off. <laughs> it's the best bit. It's like waiting at the end of a night out with a kebab, and you're at the very last bit of it. No, the bit that has all the juices in it, has all the best bit. And the taxi man goes, you're not getting in with that fucking kebab. And <laughs> the fucking best bit. <laughs> So I walk into the house and she would go, it's your fucking turn and hand me all the kids and I'd be like, wow, it's like, we've no groceries, the kids are going mental, I'd pull my hair out, I don't know what to do, and I'd say, calm down, calm down, get the kids, put them in the car, go to Sainsbury's, and I'm stinking, I'd stay here, i get a wash, then i come down, i take the kids, you can go to your mum's, you can go to bed, i keep them out of the house, whatever you want to do, and she's like, are you sure? And I'm like, yes, I understand you're having a hard time, go for it. I would watch as the car would leave the compass out. <laughs> Lock the front door. It's like a wee bit of fucking Barry Lado. <laughs> Up the stairs into the bedroom. First thing, take a picture of the bed, right? <laughs> Our bed's for show. <laughs> she bought pillows, right? They were £150. I've never slept on them. <laughs> because apparently I'm a big sweaty bastard. <laughs> She makes me sleep in two concrete blocks and a pillow. You know? <laughs> she take a picture of bed, and I want to know who the fuck's coming into my house during the day to have a look at that. <laughs> Why is it for show? Nobody comes in. We get up in the morning, we make the bed, make it for show, it's all sitting perfect, and we leave the fucking house, and then we come back in that night, and then we fucking rack the bed that we made that morning. And it's, and it's, but it's for show, but nobody's fucking seen it. Right? And then what I do is I go into the bathroom. I get a half a tub of like, with a half a tub of after sun, because we don't use that in our <laughs> <laughs> Get A pearl her nerves, right? <laughs> Preferably used, right? <laughs> and then I go in and get the phone, yeah? So you're with me, and that's your with me, we're so calm, right? <laughs> Incognito mode, because like, this is something you'll have to do, because your kids will use your phone, right? <laughs> Incognito mode, Pornhub. <laughs> <laughs> like bra <brar. laughs> Sister-in-law. <laughs> Stuck in the washing machine. <laughs> this might be a Belfast bit. We're in a, we're in a balaclava. <laughs> the wee way and then there's nobody in the house I go in I get a shower and then I go down and get the kids and she's away and she gets sorted she gets her sleep and everybody was good but during Covid I couldn't have a shape without the kids coming in so I couldn't risk a wank and I was pulling my hair out and she's going what's wrong with you and I'm like fuck up and don't look at me and breathe at me and she's like you're going insane and I went I am going insane and she went I'm going to get you locked up in a fucking nut house and I mean is it a pallet of sale and she went yes I'm fucking doing it I will fuck <laughs> And then I thought about it, and the only time I had by myself was 15 minutes on a Sunday night putting the bins out. <laughs> <laughs> it 
took me a couple of weeks, but I was thinking about it. <laughs> and I worked it out, so what you could do is you could tape the phone till your arm, right? A couple of well-placed packets of baby wipes on the window, for example. <laughs> and I can have the wank while I'm pulling the bin. Like... <laughs> and I could be finished just before I opened the said gate and everything could be put in the bin and nobody knew it! <laughs> I'm the ten of my leg, but Sunday night in my house was like Christmas Eve. She was going to me on a Sunday, why are you so happy now? Like a pot of bad time? And it was going so well. Seven weeks I got it. Until my fucking neighbour, the nosy bastard. <laughs> Didn't know what colour of bin was going out. <laughs> he heard me pulling the bin while he thought it was the bin I was pulling. <laughs> and we get up to the side and I... Do you know, do you know when you're at that part? Do you know that? Do you know? Do you know when you get that? Do you know what? I'll be nice about it. Do you know when the sauce comes out of your bottle? Do you keep your eyes open or do you close them? You've never uh, thought about it? Do you close them? Do you close them? Yeah, I close them. Yeah, I close them. <laughs> I'm glad you said that because people that keep their eyes open during orgasm are fucking psychopaths. <laughs> if you open your eyes, just one, one time to check, and your partner's looking straight at you. <laughs> when their orgasm run like fuck. They're gonna put you in the freezer one time. <laughs> Jeffrey Dahmer fucking so <laughs> Who wants to look at your face when you're coming? Because I know I don't like it. <laughs> if you want to know what my face looks like coming, watch the New Zealand rugby team. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I look like. <laughs> what I sound like. I had my first time in Wales two weeks ago and the girl spoke whilst to me. And I swear, it sounded like my wife with my balls in her mouth. <laughs> That's what it sounded like. So I sound Welsh and look New Zealand. <laughs> so I'm putting the bin out, I'm at that stage, I've my eyes closed, my head's up to the sky, I'm fucking delighted with myself, I've just released, and then I opened my fucking eyes and my neighbour's face was right there. <laughs> And what do you say? Like the most I've ever said to that neighbour was, can you keep your staffy out of my garden? <laughs> it's turning the grass yellow, you can't you know what I mean? And he just looked at me and I looked at him and that like forever, but it was probably only a couple of minutes. And then he looked at me. <laughs> he looked at my eyes and I looked at him and he went, Honey, I don't think he can put that in the recycling bin. <laughs> but I tell you what, he was a fucking brilliant kisser. Let's <laughs> have a good time with the